How the dew rain got its smell. Once upon a time, the durian did not smell the way it does now. The fruit was also not as sweet. During the durian season, all the trees beneath it would be uneasy. When the durians became big and ripe, they would fall to the ground. The fruits would hit the trees growing below. The thorns on the durian would hurt the trees. If they hit the leaves, the leaves would be tom. If they hit the bark, it would peel off. If the fruit was broken, the flesh would be scattered all over. The flesh which was pale yellow would make the surroundings messy. When that happened, all the trees below the durian tree would hope for the wind to blow from the mountain. The wind from the mountain was fragrant and the smell of the durian would not be so strong then. One day, a creeping plant asked the durian tree, Why don't you bear flowers and fruit when the wind from the mountain is blowing? If you do so at that time, the smell of your flowers and fruit would become sweet. The durian tree decided that the creeper was right. So from then onwards, when the wind blew from the mountains, the durian tree began to flower and bear fruit. It was true what the plant had said. The durian began to smell as fragrant as the wind from the mountain. However, soon the wind stopped blowing from the mountain. The smell of the mountain wind had transferred itself to the durian. From then on, the smell of the durian was heavenly.